For this video, I'll be working through level 2 2015 exam question 2. So, question 2 ice skating. Janet and Rory are ice skating. At one point, Rory is standing still. Um, Janet glides up to him from behind, grabs him by the shoulders. Janet's velocity as she glides up to Rory is 5 meters per second. They glide off together at a velocity of 2.2 in the same direction as Janet was going. Assume both Janet and Rory's skates are pointing in the direction of travel. Rory has a mass of 65 kgs. Um, so straight off the bat, this is a momentum question. You know, there's always a momentum question in this exam. State the laws of phys law of physics that applies to this situation. Um, all three laws apply. So the first one, the fact that if if um, Janet's coming up to him and there's no friction, she's just going to continue at the same speed. The second one. Uh, force equals mass times acceleration. Um, Janet's going to accelerate Rory because she exerts a force on him. Um, that's not so much, to, you don't have to worry about it too much. And obviously, the third one, third law, the equal and opposite forces. Because Janet bumps into Rory, Rory feels the same force that Janet would feel. Um, but what they're really looking for is conservation of momentum. Conservation. Of momentum, momentum, um, because there's no external forces. But that's just the law, right? Calculate Janet's mass. So, assuming it doesn't say there's any external forces, so we just make that assumption. The momentum, fi the final momentum, should be equal to the m initial momentum. Notice I put F for final, I for initial. Uh, well and good. So that means the final momentum. Oh, I should actually have this. I'll change this backwards. I'll go initial is equal to final. So you can follow along. PF. There we go. So the initial momentum is going to be um, what's the speed? So she glides up to Rory. So Janet's initial velocity um, is 5 meters per second. So uh, I'll just write up here momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Um, and I'm going to go little mass for Janet. Janet, that's Janet's mass, and I'm going to go M R for Rory. That'll be Rory's mass. There we go. Just so I can sort of track what I'm doing. So let's just write out our first equation. So we're going to have to the initial momentum. So the initial momentum is um, Janet time Janet's mass. So oh yeah, Janet's mass. So we're going to go for what's Janet's mass? We don't know Janet's mass. That's what we're trying to calculate. What am I doing? So mj times Janet's velocity, which is 5 minutes per second, right, so zero plus uh, Rory's mass, which is 65 kgs, times Rory's velocity, well originally he's stationary, so that zero is going to equal to the final momentum, and the final momentum is Janet, and so Janet plus Rory is 65, 65, I don't even need to use that MR, do I? No, I don't. Um, times 2.2, 2.2, because that's their final velocity. So it's the final mass added together times 2.2. Um, and you'll see this is just a simple linear algebra question. Um, so cancel that out to begin with. Um, we'll go 5mj, because that's mass, Janet's mass, equals... 2.2 Janet's mass um, plus 143. Uh, what am I doing now? So I'll move this 2.2 onto the other side. So I'm going to subtract 2.2 from both sides. So I'm going to get 2.8 Janet's mass is equal to 143. Um, Janet's mass is equal to 143 divided by 2.8 which is equal to 51 kgs. And I've just rounded straight up to 2SF because everything is in 2SF. So I've rounded that straight up. And that seems reasonable. You know, if Rory's 65 and he's a boy, you know, girls statistically are lighter on average than men um, just because they're shorter. Um, so 51 seems like a reasonable a reasonable guess. Right, explain why you, you, you can use the assumptions when you may when calculating Janet's mass. So the assumption was momentum is conserved, so just put momentum, momentum is 
conserved, disturbed, and no external forces. This is because there's no external forces. External forces. Can we see that? Yeah, we can. Forces are acting such as you got you, you can say this, but you gotta give the examples. So such as friction from the ice, friction from the ice, because the Huron and ice skating rink it says here. Um, yeah, they're ice skating. That's the that's the title that can be told on. I should have done that. The ice skating. That's the title of the uh, title of the question. So, no friction from the ice, and no air resistance, no air air resistance resistance, etc. You can get as imaginative as you want, but really they're only looking for no friction on the ice. Cool. Question B. After removing her skates, Janet drops down from the ground from a high bench. Write a comprehensive explanation of what Janet needs to do while landing so that she does not hurt herself. Use a formula to explain your answer. So, either way, she's jumping down. Her change of momentum is going to be the same because she's going to have some. She's going to gain um, momentum as she falls, just because she's getting faster and faster. Um, but she needs to stop, so no matter what, she needs to go from whatever moon is to zero. So let's just start off with um, the change. You could put like a wee delta symbol if you want, and momentum. But I'm going to write the full words momentum, and I'll put the bracket delta p because that's a change of momentum. Um, will be the same. So, in order to decrease the force, decrease, that's what actually hurts the force acting. No, oh, that's not actually acting. Acting on her during the stop, she will need to decrease or need to increase her stopping time time um, and then the reason is that change in momentum is equal to the force times the change in time um, you notice also this is impulse so it's the impulse that she receives in order the impulse is still the same and yeah, the change of momentum is still the same, but if she increases the amount of time, it means she can decrease the force on her. So she should either bend her knees or bend her back or just bend everything. Um, when, it, when Janet jumps down, is her momentum conserved? We already went over that. No, it's not. Um, why is that? Well, she's speeding up, so her momentum is increasing, which means it's not conserved. It's getting bigger. The reason being is gravity acts on her, so no um, gravity x on her which is an external external force um, there we go and, and to think about that her momentum is getting bigger and bigger in order for it to be conserved it needs to be the same um, so yeah she's getting faster she stops um, there we go. And just to check we've actually answered everything. Yeah. Easy. So this is impulse. Yeah. Momentum serve. No external force. And you need to state that it's an external force. Cool.